Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry, I literally just finished filming a video like two seconds ago. I did a spicy challenge, so if I'm a little snotty, that's why. Uh, I don't know. I decided I wanted to keep maybe like life rants separate than like the food videos because I'm sure some people maybe want to listen to me talk about life without hearing like every two seconds. And I'm sure people want to watch the food videos without hearing me blab for half an hour or so. Figured I have time to kill, might as well film two videos. I just got a tripod, I think I said that in my other one, so I should use it. So here we are, it's on my futon right now and I'm sitting on a chair. It's not a great angle, but you know what? The chins aren't as bad, so there's that. Sorry, I feel like my hair is really greasy at the moment. I have washed it in like a week, whatever. Uh, so. Last time I talked to you guys was, I think I put out a video about two weeks ago and I, well, I, I put out, I've only done two videos so far. So, um, the good news is she doesn't have a cast anymore. Got that off on Wednesday. The bad news is so far it has hurt more than having a cast. Um, I... I'm not going to lie, and maybe it was stupid of me to think this, but I thought that I was going to get my cast off, be able to explore the world, go running around town, causing trouble, skippity doo -da, you know, jumping around, acting a fool, being myself. And that is not what happened at all. So, uh, like, walking in a cast... It was uncomfortable, but overall it didn't hurt. The only reason why it hurt is because the cast would dig into like my toe or my leg or like it cracked so it would pinch my skin. Like that's why it hurt, not because my actual foot hurt. So when I got the cast off, I thought I was going to be good and dandy to go. No, it hurts a lot. And you know what? I did, ex I expected it to like you know, be a bit sore. Obviously I haven't actually walked on my foot in six weeks. I haven't used those muscles. So I was like, yeah, it's probably going to be sore. Like I'm sure I'll be fine. The next day I'll be like, oh, ow. No. <laughs> so, um, I was hanging out with my friend and I made us go to the park and, um, we had to go pick up something for him first. And we had to walk up this giant hill and it would have been hard on like a good day, but it, it was not pleasant in any sort of way. So then we go to the park. Sorry, I'm totally just keep staring at my greasy bangs right now. So we go to the park and of course the park is all stairs and uneven ground and hills and grass and like not easy to walk at all. <laughs> So I probably chose, and this is like, I literally at this point have had my cast off for like three, four hours, like barely had it off. And I'm like, yeah, let's go. But we had a nice day, you know, we did walk around and we had some day drinks because I wanted to celebrate. And then we walked home from the park, which is like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes at this point. She may have had a little bit of wine, so you know it wasn't that bad. But as soon as we got to my house, and as soon as I had sat down for like five minutes and I tried to get back up, I stood on my foot and the sharpest pain from the bottom of my foot up to my knee just shot right up my leg. And I like wanted to fall over. I was like, whoa. And so I was trying to walk to the bathroom, which like, that's one side of my place. That's the other. I live in a bachelor. It's tiny. So like on a good day, walking from where I was in my bed to the bathroom is maybe like 10 steps at most. And I could barely do that. Every step was this sharp pain, just right up, right up there to the back of my knee. And it hurt. I started bawling in pain. I started crying. I had my head down. I just cried and cried 
because as soon as I got back down, then it was like the pain was just there. It wouldn't go away. So I took like an Advil, but that's not gonna do that much. And I ended up passing out for 40 minutes, just waiting for the Advil to kick in. And like this whole experience has been like the worst pain I've ever dealt with in my life. Like I have had some tumbles you know I've had tumbles that have made me cry that you feel for days but this has been six weeks of pain and or discomfort and it's hard it sucks it feels like you have no freedom like it's hard I can barely leave the apartment like I need to go to the post office and right now I can't even walk there I'm trying to like clean my apartment it's Friday so I've had my cast off just over 24 hours, uh, sorry, 48 hours now. And like I'm hobbling around my place. Yesterday I literally just stayed in bed all day, like depressed. I only got up to like go to the bathroom and like make myself food. Like I just laid in bed taking Advil and just being so sad. And this morning again, I was like, oh my God, it hurts. And like my friends are coming to visit this weekend. And we're supposed to go to like this Halloween festival thing tomorrow. And I'm like, how am I going to do this? Like how, how am I going to like, and then it's like, well, how long is it going to last? I don't know. I have no idea. You know, and it sucks because I had this vision in my head that I was going to get my cast off and I was going to be able to do all this stuff. I was going to be able to run around go out, go exploring. I was like making plans. Like I want to go to this abandoned place. I want to go to this Halloween festival. I want to like go here, go there, go on nature walks, walk around. Well, now it's like I went from counting down the days of getting my cast off thinking that's when everything could happen to now it's like, I don't know. I don't know when it's going to feel better. I'm hoping it's just going to last like a few days, like a week at most. Like I'm hoping that like by next weekend, maybe it'll be better or maybe it'll be tolerable because right now, like it sucks. Like, and I'm good with pain and I can ignore it to an extent and I try not to complain. Like if I'm actually complaining and crying in pain, like I'm in pain, that's never happened. So there's that update. So I'm still feeling kind of crappy about that, which sucks because I feel like, like this was, I mentioned this in my other video, like this was supposed to be such an exciting new time for me. And I feel like I've just been depressed and stuck in a room, which makes me depressed. You know, this is not how I like to live my life in one room, watching Netflix in pain every day. Like that's not my gig. That's not what I do. So guess we'll see what happens. I'm gonna, you know, try and make the best out of this weekend, try to ignore it, be the Advil queen, and I don't know. I, I don't know when it's gonna feel better. I hope soon, you know? If I like press the side, like where it broke, like that doesn't hurt. It's not the actual break that hurts. It's like the entire, my knee down everywhere because it hasn't been used in six weeks. So if anyone has any tips, please let me know because I can't stand this anymore. I can't stand being depressed in pain every single day. I have gone to the point where like everything upsets me, everything sets me off. I'm so like the tiny things make me want to cry. Like it's that level and that ain't me. Like I am very like chill. I am very like, okay, I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. But now it's like I'm at that level and I've never, I haven't gotten to like get away from that level. So now it's like just been that level for like two, three weeks straight. Like I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like so stupid. <laughs> oh depression right gotta love her gotta gotta love what she does for the brain and the mind I feel like any any time I try to get excited about something it's just like I don't know I don't want to get too dreary that ain't me 
there's like a weird shadow that's like right just in the middle of my face. Can you guys see that? It's the dark cloud that's looming over me. So uh, what else is there to say? Yeah, I have a few videos in mind. I'm just waiting for a lot of sh stuff to arrive. Um, I know I said I was going to try and do <coughs> a video like once a week. I already lied about that because it's been about two weeks since my last one. Um, Halloween is coming. I have no plans. Well, that's a lie. I got invited to a party, but I have no idea what to do. Uh, dress up as, I mean. I don't, I don't know. School's doing good, you know. Doing the best I can. Which is honestly, like, pretty good in most classes. Well, in all classes right now, but... Uh, not next week, but the week after is, like, my reading week. So that's pretty exciting. So, like, fingers crossed, at least by my reading week, please let me not be in pain anymore. That gives me, like, a week. Yeah, because, like, next Friday will be my last day of school. Okay, so I have a week. Um, I feel like now that I'm not like eating while talking, I'm just eating so much and it's just getting everything out there and no one's probably gonna watch this video. Maybe like five people I know, but whatever. It feels good to just vent. I literally have been in bed by myself since like 4 p.m. on Wednesday. I haven't even gotten out of my pajama pants yet, but at least I got on makeup and I changed my shirt and I brushed my teeth. I'm not horizontal. life life's little miracles you know you just gotta get up and go and hope for the best and i'm sorry i'm so i hate those goddamn noodles so yeah if you guys have any like ideas for videos you guys can let me know because right now the only things i can think of are like food challenges maybe mukbangs but i'm realizing i can't eat that much and i'm just gonna be a boring mukbanger so food challenges, I don't really, people for years have been telling me to do makeup videos, but honestly, like I do the same makeup every day and it's not that good when you look at it up close. So I don't know, maybe one day I'll do like a get ready with me, but I still have to figure out like, I think I do have to buy a second tripod to be honest, which kind of sucks. But like 20 bucks it's not a big deal i also got like a little ring light on my phone i don't know if it's doing much right now because i'm also sitting directly in front of the window and it's a sunny day so we'll find out um yeah my friends are coming up to visit this weekend my friends elise and cole so i'm really excited to see them and hopefully tomorrow we get to see janelle and wyatt hopefully we get to go to the halloween little festival thing so that'll be fun hopefully have some drinks I definitely am like in desperate need of drinks with my friends like desperate so I told Cole to like bring up games because Elise can't drink at the moment so it's just gonna be me and Cole so let's see We'll see, and I need to clean my apartment so bad. I don't even hair, care if I'm a hobbling goblin. Any clean. This place is dusty. It's dirty. I still can't do laundry. That sucks. I thought I was going to be able to do laundry yesterday, but nope. I still can't get down the stairs. Because I got to go hold myself. So then how am I supposed to hold the laundry if I'm holding the rail? I can't. The laundry ain't gonna fit in this hand, so <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. I don't know what to do. I've been washing like my leggings and like a few shirts in the shower, <laughs> but like my laundry bin is full. Like she's overflowing, and like half my laundry I haven't even put in it because. I just keep washing it by hand, but like it needs a proper wash and I don't know what to do. Ah, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I even thought at one point I should put like a little post-it note in the 
like hallway of my apartment being like, please, can someone do my laundry? I will pay you. But then that's just pathetic. That's just so sad. So I'm not, I refuse. I refuse to do that. I'd rather throw my laundry down the stairs and me hobble down and then pick it up and go get it. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, I could put it maybe I have one of those like pulley, um, grocery cart things with wheels maybe i'll put i'm so sorry i'm just keep those noodles man i keep uh, I, I don't even know what i'm saying anymore i just start rambling it's like well, what it is to be alone oh my god also why do i keep singing i can't sing at all so now I just wait for all my things to come in the mail and that's my excitement except for the fact that I can't walk to shoppers. I mean, I could, but that would hurt a lot. So. So. I guess I'm gonna clean my apartment, do one of my assignments. I have a virtual field trip in two hours to a zoo. It's very exciting. It's in New Zealand, but I get to go to a zoo. So there's that. That's my excitement for the day until Cole and Elise get here in the evening. So yeah, I guess that's my life update. She's still miserable. She's still trying to get by, doing the best she can. Yeah. All right, uh, yeah, leave me like ideas for videos if you guys have any, I'm very open. I don't really have anything else going on and I'm going to have a week off of school in a week. So I'm going to need something to keep me entertained. Okay. Bye. <laughs>